for dessert. I'm making my oatmeal cream pies, which are sweet and chewy and dangerously good. One bite and you're a kid again. I'll start with my cookie dough. I'll combine my dry ingredients. One and three quarters of a cup of rolled oats. Honestly, the only thing better than an oatmeal cookie is two oatmeal cookies with cream cheese filling in the center. One cup of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and three quarters of a teaspoon of kosher salt. Okie doke. Dry ingredients are combined. I'll get one stick of softened unsalted butter, pop it right into my mixer bowl, and add one and a quarter cup of light brown sugar. Brown sugar in a cookie makes it extra chewy and molasses-y. And I'll cream this up until it's fluffy. I'll crack and add one egg. I'll drizzle in one tablespoon of molasses to boost that molasses flavor from the brown sugar and also add a little bit more chew. And three quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'll reduce to low and add in my dry ingredients. That looks great. And once this is just combined, I'll pour in the best part, the rainbow chips. In they go. The hilarious concentration of rainbow chips in here is making me really happy. I've got two baking sheets lined with parchment and a three tablespoon scoop. I'll scoop out eight cookies onto each pan. Okay, last cookie going on. These are ready for the oven. I'll get them in at 325 for 12 minutes, and in that time, I'll get going on their creamy filling. I can't wait. This is basically a cream cheese frosting with an added bonus of coconut oil. It's a nod to the classic nostalgic shortening that you usually find in oatmeal cream pies, but I love the extra coconutty vibe that it adds. I've got six ounces of softened cream cheese in my bowl. The tanginess is what keeps me going back for more bites. Half a stick of softened unsalted butter. Add a quarter cup of unrefined coconut oil at room temperature. I'll beat these together. Okay, that's combined. I'll mix in now one and a half cups of powdered sugar. I'll scrape the sides to make sure all the powder gets incorporated. I'm gonna add some salt and vanilla. And I'll get this good and smooth and fluffy. As fluffy as a blanket of snow. I'm ready to assemble. I'll plop some filling onto the center of a cookie. the extra satisfying part. I'll sandwich it with another cookie, squashing it down so that the filling reaches the edges. Now this filling is really soft, so these need to set up in the refrigerator, but I like them there because a cold cookie is a really good cookie. Okay, I'll keep on assembling. Well, I won't say snow to these. Oh, yeah. mm, they're so chewy and those rainbow chips are crunchy. This is a sweet sandwich of comfort if I ever had one. 